The house we got was lovely, the neighbors a treat. They sometimes fight on a Saturday night, but never in the week. What time do you call this then? Time I got shot at you, rat bag. <laughs> Since I pay me bills on time, the milkman insists I call him Joe. Oh, he me bread and eggs, says that I've got legs like Marilyn Monroe. Sometimes he takes me dancing. I know a Sammy burned the school down, well it's very easily done, when the teachers let the silly gets play with magnesium, thank God he only got probation, the judge was old and slow, though it was kind of him, said I reminded him of Marilyn Monroe, I'm gonna take you Mickey's just turned 14 You know he's at that age When you mention girls recording He flies into a rage Shut up talking about me, mother He's got a thing for taking blackheads out And he thinks that I don't know That he dreams all night of girls Who look like Marilyn Monroe He's even started dancing Secret dancing as for the rest, they flown the nest, got married or moved away. Aunt Donna Marie's already got three. She's a bit like me that way. As for that other child of mine, I haven't seen her for years, although each day I pray he'll be okay. Not like Marilyn Monroe. One, two, three, one. Two, three, yes, that's right, you're dancing. Ooh, uh, that's right, <laughs> you're dancing. <laughs> you see, Edward, it, it is easy. It is if you have someone to practice with. Girls. But in term time, we hardly ever see any girls, let alone dance with one. I'll give you some more lessons when you're home for half term. Uh. Now, come on, come on, you're going to be late. Daddy's at the door with the car. Are you sure you've got all your bags? Yes, they're in the boot. Oh, well, I'll see you at half term then, my love. Look after yourself, darling. Mommy, stop fussing. I'm going to be late. Oh. We have had a very good time this holiday, haven't we? We always do. We are safe here, aren't we? Mommy, what do you on about? Sometimes... Oh, there's Daddy getting impatient. Now, go on, go on. Bye-bye, Edward. Bye, Ma. You're gonna be late. No, you're late already. I'm not. Well, you'll miss the bus. I won't. Well, you'll miss Linda. She'll be waiting for you. Well, what do I want to see her for? I don't want to see her. You've only been talking about her in your sleep for the past week. You liar. Oh, me sweet darling. That was a line at the school play. All right, I believe you now. Go on, you're gonna miss the bus. Are you going? Are you, Mickey? Oh, did I forget? Is that what you're waiting for? You're waiting for your mom to give you a big sloppy kiss. Come here. I'm going, I'm going. Wait for me, you. And where do you think you're going, Sammy? The door. Come on, if you're getting on. We've not got all day. A ta lads. Be good to both of you now. I'll cook a nice surprise for your tea. Getting on, missus. Happy, are you? Content at last. Wapped out what happened. Forgotten the past. But you've got to have an ending if a start's been made. No one gets off without the price being paid. No one can embark without the price being paid. Yeah? A four-penny scholar. How old are you? He's 14. Both of us are. A four-penny scholar for me as well. Same for me. No, son. What? You're older than 14. Sammy, shut it. I'm 14. I want a four-penny scholar. 
Do you know the penalty for trying to defraud? I'm not defrauding no one. Hey, Billy, take the next left, will you? We've got one for the cop shop here. What? Uh, don't be soft, mister. You was only joking. Sammy, tell him you're really 16. I'll lend you the rest of the fare. Piss off. Now move. <laughs> move. Give me the pack. Sammy, I said get. Stop the bus. <laughs> All right. All right, Mickey, let's go. Hey, you stay where you are, Mickey. You've done nothing. Mickey! He's staying here. No, Mark! He'll get put away for this, you know, Mickey. I know. He's always been a soft get, your Sammy. I know. Well, you better hadn't do anything soft like him. I won't. You better hadn't, or I won't be in love with you anymore. Shut up. You're always saying that. I'm not. Yes, you are. You bloody well said in the assembly yesterday. Well, I was only telling you. Yeah, and 500 others. Well, I don't care who knows. I just love you. I love you. Come on. But half an hour later as it is. You're doing rather well here, aren't you, Lions? Yes, sir. I believe so. Talk of Oxbridge. Uh, yes, sir. Getting rather big for your boots, aren't you? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. I think you're a tyke, Lions. The boys in your dorm say you wear a locket around your neck, is that so? Yes, sir. A locket. This is a boy's school, Lions. I am a boy, sir. Then you must behave like one. Now, give this locket to me. No, sir. No, sir. Am I to punish you, Lions? Am I to have you flogged? You can do exactly as you choose, sir. You can take a flying leap at a rolling donut, but you shall not take my locket. I'm, I'm going to have you suspended, Lions. Yes, sir. So, we know, don't we, that the Boro Indian of the Amazon Basin lives on a diet of... Sir, sir! A diet of... Sir, sir! A diet of what, Johnston? The Boro Indian of the Amazon Basin lives on a diet of what? What? Exactly that. Exactly. What? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know? I just told you two minutes ago, lad. Leave him alone, will you? You stay out of this, miss. It's got nothing to do with you. It's Johnston, not... Sir! Oh! Shut up, Perkins, you boring little turd! <laughs> but you don't know, do you, Johnston? Yeah. Oh, you do. Right, come out in front of the class. Now then, what is the staple diet of the Boro Indian of the Amazon Basin? Fish fingers. <laughs> Just how the hell do you hope to get a job when you never listen? It's boring. Yes, you might think it's boring, but you won't be saying that when you can't get a job. Yeah, and it'll really help me to get a job if I know it's some sodden pygmies in Africa after the dinner. <laughs> shut up, shut up! Hey, or, or maybe you thought I was going to get a job in an African restaurant. <laughs> Out! Take no notice. I love you, Mickey. Shut up! <laughs> leave Johnston. I'll leave him alone. You big worm. Right, you as well. Out. I'm going, I'm going. You're both suspended. <laughs> Shut up. Suspended. Suspended because of a locket. Because I wouldn't let them have my locket. But what, sir? Uh, can I see this locket? I guess so, if you want. Where did you get this? I, I can't tell you that. It's a secret. I know. It's from a girlfriend, isn't it? Oh, Edward, is there a picture in here? Yes. No. Can I have it back now? You won't let Mummy see your girlfriend. Oh, Edward, don't be so... Is she beautiful? Mummy, please. Let me look. Let me look. <gasps> Mummy, what is it? What's wrong? When... When were you photographed with this 
woman? Pardon? When? Tell me, Edward. <laughs> Mommy, you silly old thing. That's not me. That's Mickey. What? Mickey. You remember my friend when I was little? Yes. That's Mickey, and there's his mother. Why did you think that was me? I never looked a bit like Mickey. N no, I just... Are you feeling all right, Mommy? You're not um, ill like you uh, used to be? Edward, where did you get this locket? How come you always wear it? I've explained it, Ma. I just can't tell you. But I'm your mother. I know. It's not important. I'm, I'm going to my room. It's, it's just a secret. Everybody has secrets. Don't you have secrets? Did you really feel that you'd become secure and that the time had brushed away the past? That there's no one by the window, no one knocking on your did you believe that you were free at last? Free from the broken looking glass. Oh, you know the devil's got your number. He's never far behind you. He always knows where to find you. Someone said they'd seen him. state from up here. Have we come all this way just to look at the bleeding estate? Mickey, we're 14. Uh, look. Uh, what? There's that guy in his window. I see him sometimes when I'm up here. Oh, him. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Uh, what? He's lovely looking, isn't he? All right, you told me once. Well, he is. And what are you, Calf? I think another fellow's gorgeous, eh? I don't. You just... Oh! I give up with you, Mickey Johnston. I'm off. You get on me bleeding nerves. Wait, Linda, don't... Linda... I just want to kiss you and put my arms around you and kiss you and kiss you and even fornicate with you. <laughs> but I don't know how to tell you. Because I got pimples and my feet are too big and my bum sticks out. If I were like him, I'd know all the right words. If I were like him, I'd know some real birds apart from those in my dreams and in magazines. Just look at his hair. His hair's dark and wavy. Mine's mousy too fair. Mine's the color of gravy. 
Each part of his face is in just the right place. Is he laughing at me? At my nose, did he notice that I should wear a brace? That I've got halitosis. When nature picked on me, she chose to stick on me. Eyes that don't match, I've got ears that stick out. She picked the wrong batch when she handed mine out. And then she attacked me with permanent acne. I wish I was a bit like, wish that I could score a hit like, and be just a little bit like that guy, that guy. I wish that I could be like, just a little less like me, like the sort of guy I see like, that guy. Is a ciggy? Oh, um, I don't smoke, actually. But I can um, go and get you some. Are you soft? A blood brother. Mickey? Well, <laughs> shag the vicar. <laughs> <clears throat> What's wrong? You. Sounds dead funny swearing in that posh voice. What posh voice? That one. Well, where do you live? The estate. My God. I only live... I know. And that girl I saw you with, was she... Linda. Do you remember Linda? My God, was that Linda? And, and is, is she your girlfriend? Yeah, she's, uh, she's one of them. <laughs> one of them? Have you got a girlfriend? <laughs> Me? Me? <laughs> no. Haven't you? Well, you seem to have, um, rather a lot of them. Would you mind, um, sharing one with me? Share one. Eddie, I haven't got one girlfriend. But, Linda, you said... I know, but she isn't. I mean, she would be. She even says all over the place that she loves me. But it's just that difficult. What is? No one what to say. But you must, you must. I know. And I promise myself I will. But every time I try, the words just disappear. But, but you mustn't let them. What do I say, then? Mickey, it's easy. I've read about it. Look, the next time you see Linda, you stare straight into her eyes. And you say, Linda, I love you. The very core of my being is longing for you. My loins are burning for you. <laughs> Let me lay my weary head between your warm breasts. Yeah. And then, Mickey, her eyes will be half closed and her voice may appear somewhat husky as she pleads with you. Be gentle with me. Be gentle. It would work, you know. Listen, for one week only, we can see how it's done. Nymphomaniac nights and Swedish au pairs. Whoa. I'll have to go get some money. I've got plenty, I'll let. No, it's okay, my mum will give it to me. Let's go before me ma sees. She's off a be my ma. Did you really feel that you'd become secure and that the past was tightly locked away? Did you really feel that you would never be found? Did you forget you had some debts to pay? Did you forget about the reckoning day? As the devil, he still got your number. He's moved it down the street from you. Someone said he wants to speak to you. Someone said they'd seen him leaning on your door.
Ma'am, look who it is. It's Eddie. Eddie! <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Johnston. Isn't it fantastic? We're neighbors again. Ma'am, Eddie lives on the big house. You know the one on the hill? Ma'am, can you lend us a quid to go to the pictures? Yeah, it's, um, it's in the sideboard. Thanks, ma'am. Love ya. You're looking very well, Mrs. Johnston. <laughs> Emma? <laughs> Do you still keep that locket I gave you? Yes, of course. Ma'am, can I bring Eddie back afterwards for coffee? <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on and enjoy yourselves, but don't be too late, will ya? See ya, ma'am. Why, Mrs. Johnston? Hey, what film are you gonna see? Um, what? A what film? Dr. Zhivago. Seven. Dr. Zhivago's Magnificent Seven. Uh, uh, yes, it's a, um, it's a double bill. I see, and, uh, where's it on? Uh, the Assoldo. The Assoldo, eh. Oh, when I passed the Assoldo this morning, they were showing nymphomaniac knights and Swedish au pairs. Um, uh, yes, Mrs. Johnston, yes, sir. They're just trailers. A, um, a documentary and a, um... Uh, and a, a travelogue about Sweden. Do the petty really think I was born yesterday? It is. Really just a travelogue. Showing the spectacular bends and curves of Sweden. Go on, you runny little sods. Mother! Go on before I throw a bucket of water over the perrier. I don't know about coffee. You'd better off with bromide. She's fantastic, your mum, isn't she? She's a friggin' head case, she is. Come on. Hello? How long have you lived here? A few years. Are you always going to follow me? We were reousy. I didn't follow. Don't lie. I know what you're doing to me. You gave him that locket, didn't you? Hmm? You're very clever, aren't you? I thought I would never see him again. I wanted him to have a picture of me. Even though we never know. Afraid he might have eventually forgotten you. Oh no, there's no chance of that. He'll always remember you. After we'd moved, he'd talk less and less of you and your family. I started just for a while. I came to believe that he was actually mine. He is your... No! I took him, but I never made him mine. Does he know? Have you of told? Course not. Even when? When he was a tiny baby, I'd see him staring straight at me, and I'd think, he knows. He knows. You have ruined me. But you won't ruin Ed. Is it money you want? What? I'll get it for you. If you move away from here, how much? Look. How much? Nothing. Nothing. You bought me off once before. Thousands. I'm talking about thousands if you want it. And think of what you could do with money like that. I'd spend it. I'd buy more junk and trash, that's all. I don't want your money. I've made a life out here. It's not much of one, maybe, but I made it and I'm staying here. You move if you want to. I would. But there's no point. You'd just follow me again, wouldn't you? Look, I'm not following anybody. Wherever I go, I know you'll be just behind me. Always and forever. Like a shadow. <laughs> Unless I can make you go. But you won't, so... You're mad. Mad. I curse the day I met you. You ruined me. Go. Just go. Witch! I curse you, witch! Go! <laughs> with boobies. Will Wimbledon never be the same? A lovely way to spend an evening. Can't 
think of anything I'd rather do. Oh, put me down! Get your friggin' toes off me, you! Linda! Hey, Lola, you gonna take get off! Linda, come on, I'm going. Uh, what you doing in town, Mick? Uh, we've, um, we've... We've been undergoing a remarkable celluloid experience. Oh, Mr. Boss, Linda. We've been to the pictures. Oh, so have we. What'd you go see? Uh, Bridge Over the River Kwai. Oh, we've seen that. We went to see um, <laughs> Nymphomaniac Nights instead and uh, Swedish Au Pair. Do what? <laughs> I'm sorry, then. I'm going. Do you remember Eddie? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He's still a head case. Shut up. Hey. <clears throat> oh, what the bloody hell is this thing you're doing? Adolf Hitler! Get away from there! <laughs> right, I want your names. What's your names? Waiting, Waiting for, for the 92, 92 bus! Now listen! Oh my god! Look! There's a few bob in your pocket and you've got good friends. And it seems that summer's never coming to an end. Young, free and innocent, you haven't got a care. Apart from deciding on the clothes you're gonna wear. The streets turned into paradise. The radio is singing dreams. You're innocent, immortal. You're just 15. If you guys got one. Oh, uh, yeah. oh you've got some. Thank you very much. Would you like me? Oh, how about you, young sir? Thank you, sir. Okay, make sure you wear shoes. Okay. Thank you. 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 are with you to talk away the night or until Mrs. Wong switches off the chippy light. Then there's always the corner and the street lamps glare and another hour to spend with your friends, with her to share your last cigarette and your secret dream at the midnight hour at 17. It's just another ferry boat. A trip to the beach, but everything is possible. The world within your reach. And you don't even notice broken bottles in the sand, the oil in the water. And you can't understand how living could be anything other than a dream. When you're young, free, and innocent. And just 18. Would you take our picture? And only if the three of them could stay like that forever. And only if we could predict no changes in the weather. And only if we didn't live in life as well as dreams. And only if we could stop and be forever just 18. to seven it was a joke <laughs> i mean i know it was a lousy joke but you could at least go into aesthetics <laughs> that's aesthetics uh, where's mickey uh he must be working over tom oh what's wrong with you misery i go away tomorrow to university but, tomorrow but you didn't say i know i guess i've been pretending that 
If I never mentioned it, the day would never come. I love it when we're together. The three of us. Don't you? Yeah. Can I write to you? Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Well, would Mickey mind? Why should he? Because you're his girlfriend. Uh, no, I'm not. You are, Linda. No, I'm not. He hasn't asked me. You mean he still hasn't? No. But it's ridiculous. I know. <laughs> I hope for his sake he never has to ask me to marry him. He'll be a pensioner before he gets around to it. <laughs> He's mad. If I was Mickey, I would have asked you years ago. Well, I know you would. Because how soft you are. If I could stand inside his shoes, I'd say, How can I compare thee to a summer's day? Oh, go away. <laughs> I'd take a page in all the papers, I'd announce it on the news. <laughs> if I were the guy, if I were in his shoes. If I were him, I'd bring you flowers and ask you to dance. We'd while away the hours making future plans. For rainy days in country lanes and trips to the sea. I just tell you that I love you if it were me. But I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying I care. Though I would like you to know that I'm not saying a word. I care, though I would like you to know. If I were him, I'd have to tell you what I've kept in my heart. That even if we had to live some worlds apart There would not be a day in which I'd not think of you If I were him, if I were him That's what I'd do But I'm not saying a word I'm not saying I care I'm not. What? Mickey. Mickey! Hi, Yed. Lind? Uh, where you been? Had to work overtime. I hate that sword in place. Mickey, I go away tomorrow. To university. What? You didn't say. I know. But the thing is, I won't be back for three months. Not until Christmas. You wouldn't want me to be hanging in suspense for all that time, would you? What do you want about? Mickey, will you please talk to Linda? Oh, Eddie! Go on, go on. <clears throat> right, well. Linda, the thing is, Linda, I, um... I want you... I need you... The very core of my breasts. Oh, no. um. My my loins are longer than yours. <laughs> For Christ's sake, Linda, will you just go out with me? <laughs> yeah. You will. Good. Then I guess I better come here. Oh my god, you take your time getting going, but then there's no stopping you. <laughs>
I know. Come here. <coughs> Ed, where are you going? We were going to go to the club. There's a dance. I've, uh, I've got to pack for tomorrow. Are you sure? Yes. Right. Then I'll see you at Christmas then, yeah? And listen, I'm going to work loads of overtime between now and then. So this year's Christmas party, it's going to be on me. Right? Right. It's a deal, Mick. See you. Uh, thanks, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, Eddie. Thanks. It was one day in October when the sun began to fade. And winter broke the promise that summer had just made. It was one day in October when the rain came falling down. Someone said the bogeyman was seen around town. Days are idling round like a Sammy. Ma'am. What? What? Come on. Ma'am, Linda's pregnant. Do you love her? Yeah. When's the wedding? We thought about a month. Before Christmas, anyway. Ma'am, can we live here for a bit? Are you mad? Had you? Some hypocrite I'd be. No, I'm not mad, son. Just thinking. You've not had much of a life with me, have you? Don't be stupid. Of course I have. You're great, you are, ma'am. Look, I gotta go to work. They started laying people off at the other factories. And, ma'am... Thanks.
Guess who? Father Christmas. Mickey! Merry Christmas! Come on, then. Where's the action? The booze, the Christmas parties, the music, and the birds. Mickey, what's wrong? Nothing. I was university. Mickey, it's fantastic. I haven't been to so many parties in my life. And there's just so many tremendous people. Baz, Ronnie, Claire, lots of them. You'll meet them, some of them. They're coming over to stay for New Year's, for the party. It's, it's just great, Mick. Good. Come on, then. I, I thought we were going to do every... How's Linda? She's okay. Well, come on, then. Let's go. Come on, where? Mickey, what's wrong? You! You're a dickhead. There are no parties arranged. No booze or music. Christmas. I'm sick to the teeth of Christmas. It isn't even here yet. See, there's very little to celebrate, Eddie. Ever since you left, I've been walking around all day, every day, looking for a job. What about the uh, job you had? Disappeared. You know something? I bleed and hated that job. Standing there all day, never do nothing but put cardboard boxes together. I used to get, I used to get terrified that I'd spend the rest of my life doing it. But after three months of nothing, the same answer everywhere, nothing, nothing down for you. I'd crawl back to that job for half the pay and double the hours. Just putting together boxes it was. But after being flogged off from everywhere, it seems like it was paradise. Well, well, why is a job so important? If I couldn't get a job, I'd just say sod it and draw the doll, live like a bohemian, tilt my hat to the world and say, screw you. You don't understand anything, do you? I don't wear a hat that I could tilt at the world. Well, let's forget about bloody jobs. Let's, let's go and get Linda and, and celebrate. Look, I've got money, plenty of it. No, I don't want your money. Stuff it. Listen, Eddie, just do me a favor and piss off, will you? I thought we always well, we stuck together. I thought we were blood brothers. That was kid stuff, Eddie. Didn't anyone tell you? But I suppose you still are a kid, aren't you? I'm exactly the same age as you, Mickey. Yeah, but still a kid. And I wish I could be as well, Eddie. I wish I could still believe in all that blood brother stuff. But I can't. Because while no one was looking, I grew up. And you didn't have to, Eddie. And I don't blame you for it. In your shoes, I'd be exactly the same as you. But I'm not in your shoes. I'm in these looking at you. And you make me sick. Right? That was all just kid stuff, Eddie. And I don't want to be reminded of it. So just... Just take yourself away. Go and see your friends and celebrate with them. Go on. Beat it before I really hit you. Linda! Mickey! Hello, Linda. Uh, hello, Eddie. Why haven't you called to see me? Well, I had your friends. I, I didn't like butting in. You'd never be butting in, and, and you know it. It wouldn't matter if I never saw those friends again. If I could be with you. Oh, Eddie. Look, I'm offering. All we need is someone to keep the eye for us. Look at you, Mickey. What have you got, huh? Nothing. <laughs> Just like me, ma'am. What are you taking your time for New Year's, huh? Nowhere. But I guess you'd better know if... if I'm never going to see you again. I love you. I always have. You... you must have known that. We don't use the shooters. They're just frighteners. You don't have to use them. Everyone behaves when they see a shooter. Look, Mickey, you won't even be where the action is. Just keep the eye for us. I'm sorry, Linda. Fifty quid, Mickey. Fifty quid for an hour's work. Just think where you could take Linda if you had cash like that. I'm sorry. It's all right. Well, I suppose... Well, I suppose I always loved you, in a way. 
Then marry me. Uh, didn't Mickey tell you? We got married two weeks before you came home, and I'm expecting a baby. Fifty notes. Yeah. All right. Great. And cheer up, will you? It's New Year's. I'll see you, Eddie. Happy New Year. Linda. Linda. Are you coming in? Look, I'll be back around 8 o'clock. And listen, get dressed up. I'm taking you out. What? We're going dancing. Then we'll go for a slap-up meal. And tomorrow I'll take you into town so you can get some new clothes. Oh, yeah? Where's the money coming from? I'm, uh, doing some work. What? what? Is, is that just Sammy? Uh, uh, shut up, will you? Just, just be ready at 8. Mickey! Mickey, no! There's a full moon shining, and a joker in the pack. The dealer's dealt the cards, and he won't take them back. There's a black cat stalking, and a woman who's afraid that there's no getting off without the price being paid. Don't you press about with me, Paul. I said get... It's not a toy, you know. We're not playing games. You don't get up or get in one of these things. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I said, listen to me. I said... I said, don't you pull it towards that? Listen! There's a man lies bleeding on a garage floor. Mick, get back in the house and bolt the door! And maybe if you count to ten and kept your fingers crossed, it would all be just a game and then no one would have lost. You shot him, you shot him! I bloody know I did! You shot him, you shot him! No! I've, I've got to get this in! Mickey, Mickey, is that you? Oh, shit! In a shirt. The jury found him guilty, sent him down for seven years. The way he acted like they gave him life, he couldn't stop the tears. to visit him he didn't want to know seems like jail sent him off the rails like Marilyn Monroe his mind's gone dancing mind's gone dancing they showed him to a doctor and after routine tests prescription not the doctor wrote for the chronically depressed and now the tears have stopped he sits and counts the days to go he treats his ills with daily pills like Marilyn Monroe they stop his mind from dancing stop it Dancing. What you doing? What? I'm uh, taking my tablet. Listen, Mickey, I told you. They're just junk. You'll be home soon, Mickey, and, and you should come off them. Why? I need them. No, listen, Mickey, you No. Don't... The doctor says, didn't he? He said. What did he say? said about me nerves and how I get depressed and I need to take these because they make me better well I get depressed but I don't take those you don't need those Mickey just leave me alone will you I can't cope with this I'm not well the doctor said didn't he I can't do things Leave me alone. With grace for good behavior, he got out before his time. The family and the neighbors told him he was looking fine. But 
Everybody's feeling 15 years older And his speech is rather slow The neighbor said you think he was dead Like Marilyn Monroe No cause for dancing No more dancing something about him. He's been out for months and still taking those pills. Linda, he needs a job. You change your place if you're... Mom, that's why I'm late. I've been to see... We're moving at the end of the month. We got our own place and I think I got Mickey a job. Oh, Jesus, thank God. But how'd you... It's all that. Right. Just someone I know. But who? It's all that. Right. Uh, did you get our Sarah from school? Yeah, she's in bed, but... Listen, Linda, how'd you manage to... Never mind, Mom. Mom, isn't it great? If if he's working now and and we're living on our own, he'll be able to get himself together and, and stop taking those friggin' things. Yeah, but listen, Linda, who? Uh, just some fella I know. Uh, he's on the housing committee. You wouldn't know him, Mom. Come on, you'll be late. Where's me? Mickey, what you looking for? You know what I'm looking for. Mickey, listen to me. Where's my tablets gone, Linda? Mickey, you don't need your tablets. Linda! L listen, Mickey, you're working now. We're living on our own. You've got to start making an effort. Give them to me. Well, you promised. I know I promised, but I can't do without them. I tried. Last week I tried to do without them. By dinner time, I was shaking and sweating so much I couldn't even work. I need them. That's all there is to it. Now give. Is that it, Ben? Are you gonna stay on them forever? Linda. Look, we've we've managed to sort ourselves out this far, but what's the use? Oh, of we've sorted ourselves out. Do you think I'm really stupid? What? I haven't sorted out anything, Linda. Not a job. Not a house. Nothing. It used to be just sweets and ciggies he gave me. Because I had none of my own. Now it's a job. And a house. I'm not stupid, Linda. You sorted it out. You and Councillor Eddie Lyons. Now give me my tablets. I need them. And what about what I need? I need you. I love you. But Mickey, not when you take those things. When you got them inside you, I can't even see you. That's why I take them. So I can be invisible. Now give. <laughs> There's a girl inside the women. She's waiting to get free. She's washed a million dishes. She's always making tea. Could I talk to Councillor Lyons, please? There's a girl inside the women. And the mother she became. And the half-remembered song comes to her lips again. Eddie! Uh... Could I talk to you? Yeah, yeah, I remember. The girl would sing the melody, but the woman would stand in doubt and wonders what the price would be for letting the young girl out. It's just a light romance, nothing cruel. They laid no plans How it came Who can explain They just said hello And foolishly they gazed They should have gone Their separate ways It's 
Just the same old song. Nothing cruel, nothing wrong. It's just two fools who know the rules, but break them all and grasp at half a chance to play their part. Changing weather never shows at the door or the price you're gonna have to pay. It's just a secret glance across a room, a touch of hands. should argue is this. How many of us will actually be here when we get... Stay where you are! Hello, Mickey. Stop taking the tablets. Oh, I have to start thinking again. Just, just get her out of here, mister. Now! I have to start thinking again. Because there is one thing left in my life, Eddie. Linda! And I had to keep her. But it was too late. You know who told me? About you. And Linda. Your mother. She came to the factory and told me. Mickey, I don't know what she said. But me and Linda are just friends. Friends! I could kill you. Friends. We were friends once, weren't we? Blood brothers, wasn't it? Yes, Mickey, I remember. Then how come you got everything? And I got nothing! Friends. I've been thinking, Eddie. You and Linda were friends when she first got pregnant, weren't you? This mild child belonged to you as well as everything else in my life. Mickey, for God's sakes, no! Now listen, son. Listen to me. Look, Michael, put the gun down. Just put the gun down, son. What am I doing here, Eddie? I thought I was going to shoot you. But I can't even do that. I don't even know if the thing's loaded. What's that woman doing? 
Christ. Don't shoot him, Mickey. Ma'am, you get away. You get away from here. No, son. Ma'am, please. Mickey, don't shoot Eddie. He's your brother. You had a twin brother. I couldn't afford to keep the both of you. His mother couldn't have kids. I agreed to give one of you away. You'd better... You'd better see which one you want. I... I'll no, see. don't tell me which one. Just take him. Take him. Did you ever hear the story of the Johnston twins? As like each other as two new pins. How one was kept and one given away. How they were born and they died on the self same day.